In this video, we're going to talk about compressed gas cylinder safety, recognizing the hazards of gas cylinders and protective measures needed to stay safe on the job. If you've worked in a dealership for any period of time, you either use gas cylinders or you've seen them around. Whether you're in sales and you see the helium cylinders or you're in service and you see the welding, the nitrofill, lots of different gas cylinders that are used in a dealership. Gas cylinders contain several different hazards particularly the uh, pressure that they contain can be up to 2,500 PSI. So mishandling can result in damage to the cylinder shell or that steel wall and create an explosion with dangerous shrapnel flying everywhere. Also, you could knock the top off of the cylinder or the, the valve and uh, have a torpedo effect like in the uh, graphic there. Uh, cylinders often contain flammables. So you have a flammable gas hazard oxidizers which is oxygen can feed a fire um, and you also have inhalation hazards depending on what sort of cylinder uh, we're talking about so there are a lot of different hazards and a lot of different angles we have to look at to control when it comes to gas cylinders and dealerships when we're storing gas cylinders we always want to store them upright with a train or a strap to keep them from tipping over that will prevent uh, damage to the cylinder wall or the valve um, to keep an explosion or the top from popping off from happening and also those cylinders are heavy uh, we want to prevent the hazard of a heavy metal object like a cylinder falling onto somebody's foot or onto uh, something else creating a different hazard or rolling at somebody Another reason we want them to be upright uh, specifically for acetylene cylinders is because acetylene is unstable and it's dissolved into acetone um, and that cylinder is filled with a porous material like diatomaceous earth um, and that acetone uh, laden uh, acetylene could leak through the valve if it's left on its side. So um, just one of those hazards that not very many people um, are aware of. You also need to keep oxygen cylinders 20 feet away from all flammable materials, um, including cylinders containing flammables. So your oxygen and acetylene should be at least 20 feet apart or separated by a firewall of some sort. Um, but a lot of people don't know is that it's not just the cylinders that we're talking about. It's all flammables. So your gas cans um, and anything that is flammable. Also, don't store them in enclosed lockers. You know, if it's like an expanded metal locker, that's perfect. But if it's uh, something that's going to keep the gas in there, if it were to have a leak, we're going to have a problem. So make sure you keep all your cylinders in a well-ventilated area to prevent gas buildup, thus explosions or hazardous inhalation environments. Always keep your cylinder caps on whenever they're in storage. That way, if something were to happen and it were to fall over, the uh, valve is protected. You also want to have proper warning signs where cylinders are posted. I like the sign that says all cylinders must be chained up if you're a supervisor or a manager uh, and you don't have these signs. I uh, recommend you putting in a sign that says they should all be chained up and also a flammables uh, sign for where you store your acetylene. Um, you also need to keep your uh, cylinders in a location that is away from vehicle traffic, heat, and electrical circuits. Um, in addition to that, you also need to make sure it's away from foot traffic in case you do have somebody uh, fall into the cylinder area and knock it over out of the chain, whatever it might be. Don't store it in the sunlight, and that's if you're going to keep a cylinder for a very long time, that'll cause damage to the cylinder wall um, and mess with the integrity of the cylinder. And you also need to keep empty ones away from full ones to keep them from getting. Um, misused um, thinking you have an empty one when it's really full. Always inspect your cylinders before you decide to move them. You need to check for damage and you need to check the correct labels. A lot of people will just look at the color of the cylinder to make sure they're, they have the right one. Um, but if you've spent any time looking at these labels and comparing the colors, you've seen them um, where they were colored improperly before. So we can't rely on the color of the cylinder. Um, you also need to make sure you have the correct regulator. Uh, never move a cylinder with a regulator attached either. Those caps that you have on in storage, keep them on while you're moving that cylinder um, because a regulator is going to pop off much easier than the cap. 
Also make sure you handle cylinders with care and avoid dropping or hitting them against anything. Uh, I always recommend using a cart like a hand truck or a basket uh, so you can get them where they need to go safely. Also those cylinders are heavy which I already mentioned and uh, we definitely want to avoid uh, sprain and strain type injuries from picking up something that's a little too heavy for us. When it comes time to use the gas cylinder, make sure you uh, open them slowly. If you open them too quickly, you can damage the regulator and the valve seats. So then you'll have a leak and you may not even know about it. Uh, if a valve appears to be damaged, don't use it. Um, don't use lubrication to try to force a valve open. Send that one back to your ga uh, gas vendor and let them uh, handle that hazard and take that liability off of you. Also, when you're using cylinders with flammable gases like, like acetylene, uh, don't open the valve more than three quarters of a turn at a time. That will minimize the risk of explosion and make sure you can shut it off very quickly if something did go wrong. And you need to follow proper procedures and use the right uh, personal protective equipment like your welding hood, safety glasses, heavy duty gloves, protective footwear, aprons, depending on the chemical that it is you're using. In conclusion, compressed gas cylinders pose several safety hazards to dealerships. Some common sense actions could prevent a catastrophic event from happening. Talk to your supervisor if you have any questions regarding the topics discussed in this video. Thank you and have a great day.